Hi, 4CW. So we are on chapter 78. Not a day goes by. Boom, whiz, kapow. Fireworks dart in the sky over London. Those lucky enough to be on the top floor of Buckingham Palace had the best for you. The elderly queen was hosting a party. There were 25 Wormley Hall orphans. All the Chelsea pensioners, Abdul, Dotty, and of course, the guest of honour, Elsie. Fittingly, a huge Victoria sponge cake was served. It was so big he could have dived into it that it was demolished for the starving orphans in a second. By the fireplace, Private Thomas got down on one knee to propose to his beloved. Dotty, will you marry me? Where are you? asked the lady. Here. Dotty looked down and spotted him. Sorry, I didn't see you all the way down there. Dotty, will you marry me? Oh, I forgot to rinse me mop out. Dotty. The little mouths were coming irate now. Irate means cross. Will you marry me? There's no need to shout, dear, yes. The pair kissed as everyone around them clapped and cheered. Hurrah! Bong, 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 bong. Twelve bongs from Big Ben meant it was midnight. 1899 had ended and 1900 had begun. Everyone crossed arms and Queen Victoria led the singing of Old Lang Syne. Robert Burns's word, so he wrote Old Lang Syne. And the mournful tune made Elsie think of Woolly. She missed her friend terribly. And she sang, a tear rolled down her cheek. And she stole away to the far side of the room. So nobody would see her. Elsie didn't want to spoil the celebration for everybody else. Only the Queen saw that the girl was upset. And she broke away from the rest. The unlikely pair of friends found themselves alone in the corner as fireworks illuminated from the window. What's the matter, child? asked the Queen softly as she placed her hand in Elsie's. The song has got me thinking about how much I miss Woolly. If truth be told, Old Lang Syne always makes me a little tearful too, replied Queen Victoria, her old eyes becoming misty. It always makes me think of my darling husband, Prince Albert. I lost him 38 years ago. Not a day goes by, when I'm not an hour, not a minute, I don't think about him. It sounds like he was a very special man. Oh, he was, child, he was. The most perfect gentleman in all the world. Elsie reached out her hand to the old lady who held it tight. See those fireworks, Elsie? Yes, ma'am. This is how it feel, felt in my heart every time my our darling Albert entered the room. That's beautiful, murmured the girl. It was real. In the end, we've both loved child and been given love in return. What more can you ask of life? I suppose so, replied the girl. I know so. Elsie, you may look around this palace of mine, this country of mine, this empire of mine, which stretches to the four corners of the globe and think I have everything. But believe me, child, you have nothing without love. The Queen picked up a glass of champagne for herself and handed a glass of lemonade to Elsie. To Albert, said Elsie. To Woolly, said the Queen. Clink. That's actually the end of our story, guys. Really enjoyed reading The Ice Monster. I will think of a different book for us to read tomorrow.